Hello, Year 6. All right, we are back for our fourth flipped classroom. This week we're looking at area, also called area. The amount of space that a flat shape takes up, like your face. All right, let's get into it. Here's how I think about area. If you have a shape like this, this is my TV, and it's two centimeters by seven centimeters, widescreen. Area is like this. For every seven centimeters along here, that's more than seven. For every seven centimeters along here, you also have two centimeters along here. For every centimeter this way, you have one this way. And that's what area is. It's that shape in there. So for every seven centimeters here, you have two centimeters here. And that will help you cover the whole shape. So for every seven centimeters, you have two centimeters. That gives you altogether 14 centimeters squared. Okay, that's our unit for area. And you will be using it or I will write it on your face. 14, seven, 14 centimeters squared is the area of this shape because for every two centimeters here, down this side, there are seven centimeters here along this side. Okay? So if we have a book cover, this book is called Mr. Sheehan and other models, bestseller. It measures on the long side, 30 centimeters. And on the short side, 15 centimeters. So area for every 30 centimeters, there are 15 centimeters running the other way. So Let's get our trusty lettuce. Not gonna get this one wrong. I hope. One zero zero one three three five zero zero five. Oh no! Five zeros. Five three is fifteen. So we got zero, five, four, and zero. So four hundred and fifty centimeters squared is the area. Woo! All right, one more example. Let's talk about a $20 note, which I have one of right now. This note measures 20 centimeters. Always got to put the units in. By 7 centimeters. Okay? What is, or how are you going to work out the area of this shape? Thinking music. Okay, what are you going to do? For every 20 centimeters this way, there's 7 centimeters this way. So, that's what we're going to do. 20 by 7. All right, let's work it out with our trusty lattice. 20 by 7. Probably do it in our heads, but let's just do it this way. 7, 2 is 14. 140 centimeters squared. Because for every centimeter this way, these centimeters let's say 20 of them, there's another centimeter this way. So we're covering the whole area of the shape. So 140 centimeters squared, 20 by seven. Good. So area is easy for normal rectangles and normal squares, but when it's the area of a weird shape like this, like Tetris, do you guys know what Tetris is? I hope so. It's basically funny blocks. 
When it's a weird shape like that, you have to do a bit more work. Now, you can do it a couple of ways. You can either chop it up into normal rectangle shapes like that. That's a little bit more work than I'd like to do. Or you can pretend it's a whole shape and just minus this bit that's missing. And that is a lot easier for me. So that's the way we're going to do it. Let's say... I have a Tetris shape like this, and it's 20 centimeters here, and seven centimeters here, four centimeters here, three centimeters here. Oh, my phone is buzzing. And let's say um, six centimeters here, and 14 centimeters here. Okay, I know that's probably confusing, but here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna pretend this is a whole shape and we can do that pretty easily because we have these two long sides still intact so we're going to pretend it's 20 by 7 centimeters there we go so that would be the area of the whole shape if it didn't have a piece missing so 20 by 7 we saw just before 140 centimeters squared that's the whole shape with nothing cut out and now we can work out this mini shape because we know it's 14 here and 3 here. So we can work out the area of this and take it away from that and we'll have what's left. So let's do 14 times 3, which is going to be 12 and 3. So we have 42. So this area is 42 centimeters squared just in this little bit. The whole area without it cut out is 140 centimeters squared. So let's take the missing bit away. And we'll know some stuff. Mm, can't do that. Borrow 13 minus 4 is 9. So the area of what's left in here is 98 centimeters squared. There we go. So you work out the shape of the area of the whole shape if nothing was missing. And then you take away the missing bit. And in every question that we're going to do this week, there will be information on each of these long sides for the missing bit and for the whole bit. So you don't need to do any deductive detectiving, which is a word I just made up. All right, good. All right, let's do an example. My brother had a $50 note, and his note measured, let's say, 21 centimeters by 4 centimeters, okay? And me being hilarious, cut out a piece of his $50 note so he couldn't spend it. <laughs> and the length of these bits were... I cut out a shape 15 centimeters by um, 2 centimeters. What is the area that he has left in his $50 note that he now can't spend? Ha ha! What are you going to do? Thinking music! <laughs> That's right, let's work it out together. So the original area, we know, 21 times 4. Let's just do it quickly. These lettuces are getting smaller and harder to write on. 84. So the original area, 21 times 4, was 84 centimeters squared. And then I cut out a piece. Bigger lettuce. I cut out a piece that was 30 centimeters squared. So let's take this 30 centimeters squared away from the 84 centimeters squared. And we will get 54 centimeters squared. So that's how much of his $50 note he has left. Not enough to spend it though. That's why you shouldn't have 
drunk my coke, brother. All right, I hope that made sense. Let's do a quick summary. When you have a weird looking shape, it's easiest to work out the area if you pretend it's a whole shape because you'll always have these two long sides to work out the area. So let's do A and B say. So A times B will be the whole area of the whole shape. And then you just have to minus whatever the missing bit is. And you'll always have this side measured for you and this side. So C times D will give you the missing area. Missing area. And all you do is take away whole area minus missing area. And that will give you the the oh already use that color uh, the left area whatever's left okay and that is this stuff everything that you have left all right bring your questions to school on Monday and then we can get into it quickly all right thanks you six see you then bye.